Hmm, okay, it might be dark. Okay, because the weather is okay, it's going to rain soon over here. Okay, anyway, good morning or good evening, everyone. How's your day coming along? My name is David, and as usual, I'll be your host for today. Okay, so during our previous live stream session okay we work on big teeth and today we will continue on with that okay but to show you what has changed since two days ago okay wait So after a few stages of, after clearing a few stages, you will face big diff. Okay, but for testing purposes, we will okay, just set it as one stage. By the way, you, if you notice, I've also added the sound effect for when you jump. Okay, so you hear this every time you jump. I will continue adding more sound effects, but for now, let's focus on what happens when Big Thief dies. And by the way, you might also notice that the left and right walls are gone and that's because they are not actually gone, they are just moved further left and right. Okay, So you might not see them within the unity window, but if you play in full screen, they will appear on the left and right. Okay, this gives us and extra column on the left and right for more playing space. Okay, so watch what happens when I defeat Big Thief. Two, three. Okay. So because I was too near to the portal. So let's try that again. As mentioned before, we don't always get health up, so if we manage to get one that is considered lucky. Okay. 
Okay, so let me clear this stage and we'll get to big diff. Okay, let's wait for my mana to regen and watch what happens when I defeat Big Diff. Okay, if you manage to hear thunderstorms, that's because it's going to rain over here. Two, three. Okay, so when you be defeat Big Thief, okay, his minions will disappear and a portal will appear in the center of the screen. Okay, so when you enter the portal, you disappear and the portal will close. And that's what happened. That is what will happen when you defeat Big Thief, but okay, if you notice that just now, when the Big Thief died, his animation or so-called his death animation was the same as any other enemies. Okay, so we do not want that as Big Thief is a boss and he should has he should have his own death animation. So that's what we are going to do now. Okay, a special death animation for Big Thief. Okay, and to do that, we'll go back to Photoshop. Okay, and let me grab my tablet. Okay, and as usual, we'll have a zoom in and zoom out version. Okay, so this is Big Thief. Notice how big he is. So what we are going to do here is to create animation frames for when he dies or when he is defeated.
Okay, so let's duplicate this and let's call it defeated zero. Okay, so there are a number of ways we can go about showing the defeat of Big Diff. Okay, for illustration purposes, I will create a new file where we will Sketch how we want Big Thief to die. Okay, we can have Big Thief. Okay, imagine this is Big Thief. So we can have Big Thief first shake left and right and then he will crumble into pieces He will crumble into pieces. Okay, so that's one way of showing how Big Thief can die. Okay, another way of showing how Big Thief can die is we can have him can okay, maybe also same as the first method you can have him move shake left and right until he disappears and fades out from the screen okay so he will shake left and right until he fades out shake left and right until he fades out So that can be the second method or second way for him to go. Okay, a third way. Maybe a third way for him to go is when is by making him fade to grey. Okay, fade to grey. After fading to grey, 
Okay, step one, fade to grey. And step two. Disperse into pixels. That randomly spread out. Okay, so between one, two, and three, which one suits him best? Okay, it would be more epic if we were able to do the dispersal of the pixels. You can also make it shake while fading to grey Make it shake while fading to grey Alright, seems like it's getting dark over here, so let me switch on the lights. Okay, let me adjust the camera slightly. Okay, at least now it will be brighter. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so one thing is for sure that we'll have to fade it to grey which will signify that Big Thief has been defeated. Right, so let's do this. So there are a number of ways we can go about getting the grey version of Big Thief. Okay, one way is you can go back to Unity. Okay, 
Okay, we can go to the sprite. Okay, we are just using this okay as an example. Okay, because we have to use the exact sprite at which Big Thief was defeated. Okay, because Big Thief will be going through a number of frames when it is still alive for its animations. Okay, so let's see how we can change this to gray. Let's see, okay, 30, 30, 30. Or maybe we can change it to black. Hmm. Okay, we shouldn't change it to black because the background is black. So we need a contrast. So if the background is black, we need to change this to maybe something that is slightly brighter. Okay, this is not exactly grey, so... We need the effect to be grayscale. Okay, and when I mean by grayscale, I mean... Okay, let's... Duplicate this. Okay, when I mean grayscale, I mean Thank you. 
Okay, that's not what I meant. Okay, there is a grey or black and white, which also works. Okay, this is what I mean by grayscale or black and white effect. Okay, so when Big Thief dies, it will change to uh, it will fade to this okay but we want it to be able to do this for any of the animation frames so it's best to do this in the script instead So let's see whether we can do this inside Unity instead. 